Hello ladies. Are you ready for your YouTube premiere? Ball. Ball. <laughs> Today is going to give you a real life look at what it's actually like to travel full time with dogs in 400 square feet. It is not always easy. You make me angry, dog. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, she's so annoying. We just had to pull over because Pepper threw up in the truck all over Taryn, all over the cow town. Pretty sure she's the dumbest animal alive. Very frustrated with the dogs. It's hard traveling with dogs, but um, this is definitely a low point. These dogs have a mind of their own, and sometimes they just don't want to do what we want them to. Get in the truck, Pepper. Get in. Go. Get in. I know Maggie's truck. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? She won't get in. Get in. Pepper, Hi. get in the truck. That was the <laughs> noiest glare I've ever seen. Come on, Mags. Go. Maggie, go get in your house. Come on. Go. <laughs> Maggie, go to your room. Go. Right now. <laughs> go. <laughs> this one is just entertainment. <laughs> Go, Mag. No, 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 let you do it. This is funny. <laughs> so like traveling with dogs. Hairy. It's very hairy. <laughs> Having two large dogs that shed in 400 square feet can be very, very overwhelming. Jude is correct. Taryn, what is your one word for traveling with dogs? Snuggly. Ladies, Are you a dumb dog? <laughs> Are you cute? Do you just want to snuggle? Do you love me? <laughs> when we moved from a 2400 square foot house to a 400 square foot RV, it took our dogs a while to adjust and we found them in some pretty strange spots while they figured out just where they like to be. Most of the time, that ended up being right next to us. All right, so it is a moving day. We are, they're 
getting ready to go. We've been in Austin for three weeks. <laughs> what are you doing, Pepper? Can I help you? You're ruining my YouTube video. I thought it would be really cute for me to sit right here where there's good light and um, dogs are kind of driving me crazy. I'm trying to do a YouTube video here, ladies. <laughs> what are they doing? Um, ladies, you're making this kind of difficult. Jonah, what's your one word for traveling with dogs? Crazy. What is my one word for traveling with dogs? Ridiculous. Respect your space at all. <laughs> you getting some snuggles? The worst dog to snuggle. <laughs> You're not very snuggly, Mags. What are you doing, Mags? You getting some lovies? I don't want you on my lap. Go away. Ow! I don't want you on my lap. Go away. Go get her, Maggie. No. Go sit by daddy. Go, go sit by daddy. <laughs> oh, you always have to have your chin on something. Pepper. Oh, there's Maggie. Oh. Zachary, what's one word you would use to describe traveling with dogs? Chaotic. Chaotic. It's pretty crazy sometimes, huh? Do they wrestle a lot? Yeah.
Our dogs may drive us crazy, but they also make us laugh so much. Like the time Taryn gave Pepper eyebrows, or the time she spent 45 minutes staring randomly at a fire extinguisher in a cabin we rented. You just never know what they're going to do next, and they always bring us so much joy. Go get it. <laughs> you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go bye bye? Pepper, you wanna go outside? Come on! Did he go to the park without you? <laughs> Are you supposed to be on the couch? Little man. You are so weird. Why do you sit like that? What are you doing? You want to go outside? Nico potty. You want some water? Oh, she's looking for you, Karen. You want to go for a bike ride? You want to go outside go for a bike ride? I think my one word for traveling with dogs is adventurous. I love that our dogs have been on more adventures than most humans. Meg, you wanna go bye bye? You wanna go to Philadelphia? That sounds like fun. Where are we going, ladies? You wanna go to Yellowstone? to 
going on this journey without them.